Hey, this is Bert. Today's a very special day. I would say in the last maybe two months, I've gotten so many comments from people on, on my YouTube channel asking me to please make a video about every figure that comes with a frying pan accessory. So you finally wore me down and this is the list you've been waiting for, the top 22 figures that come with frying pans. So uh, actually, right off the bat, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with the figures that don't come with frying pans, but probably should. So for starters, when I was doing research for this video, I thought for sure there was a Ninja Turtle figure that came with a frying pan. Just kind of brainstorming, thinking about all the Ninja Turtles I could remember, my mind went to Pizza Face. But Pizza Face, they neglected to give him a, a frying pan. So they missed out right there. I mean, I guess you don't make a pizza in a frying pan, but you make it in a pan. I would have counted it. Doesn't come with one. And in fact, as near as I could tell, there isn't a single Ninja Turtle figure that actually comes with a frying pan at all. The next glaring omission of a frying pan accessory, Chef Bender from Futurama. They've made him twice. Neither time does he come with a frying pan. Just ridiculous, if you ask me. And then finally, the last figure that I thought really should have a frying pan accessory and doesn't is Curly from the Three Stooges. They made a special Chef Curly no frying pan. I mean, I swear in that show, they probably hit each other with frying pans in like 15 episodes. But alas, you don't get a frying pan accessory with any Three Stooges figures. All right, now let's get to the real list. The 22 best figures with frying pans. At number 22 isn't really a figure at all. It is the Buffy the Vampire Slayer accessory set. Now, this accessory set is just a bunch of stuff that maybe should have come with Buffy figures earlier on in the, the toy line, but didn't. And so if you really want to have Robot Ted get smacked in the head with a frying pan, you couldn't until you got this set. So it's, uh, it's last on my list because it doesn't actually even come with a figure. Next up, the Lone Ranger Prospector set, or Mysterious Prospector set, I should say. Oh, this one, again doesn't actually come with a figure. It looks like it's got a figure in the box. It comes with the mule, but you have to supply your own Lone Ranger because this is actually a disguise for the Lone Ranger. But as a prospector, he does use a frying pan, so it's included in this set. Number 20 is Alice Cramden from the Honeymooners. Now, uh, I listed her here because she's kind of the action figure no one really asked for. I've never seen and open one of these. I've only seen her in the package for super duper cheap so um that's that's really the only reason she places where she does number 19 now this might be a shocker because i'm a big fan of jurassic park but i'm putting lex from jurassic park here here's why she doesn't actually ever hold a frying pan in the movie a couple frying pans fall on her but she doesn't really ever hold one now if it were up to me she would either come with a spoon with some jello on it or she would come with the brother saving ladle that she taps on the floor to distract those raptors that are about to eat her bro now let's move on to number 18 number 18 is the tower hero chef i put it here because it doesn't really look like it does that much um i mean it's not it's not that bad you, you'll find actually all these figures on this list are top-notch figures but uh you know i gotta place them someplace I think he's somehow associated with Roblox. I didn't really see understand the connection between Tower Heroes and Roblox, but maybe they're the same thing. Number 17 is Rough House from Popeye. And if you look at this Popeye set, I mean, it's a really nice set, actually. I love the, the colors in it are fantastic. Um, he's just here. Lack of articulation, really. Number 16, Tom and Jerry. This Tom and Jerry four-pack comes with, you know, three cats and, uh, of course, Jerry the Mouse. Frying pans are so essential to many episodes of Tom and Jerry. That's why it's really great that they included one with this. I just, um, I get why they made Jerry so big, just so that, you know, you feel like he's a figure like the rest of them. But I thought maybe they should have made up for having a big Jerry by just having a, like a small Jerry that's in proportion to all the cats. Because really, he's just way too big to, to fit with those cats. And then it, you know, it's kind of humorous when you see the, the small mouse Jerry smacking Tom with the frying pan. That's, it, you know, kind of loses some of its humor when, when he's giant size also. Number 15, the Calico Critter series. Now, 
about a series where you can get a number of different frying pans with a number of different figures. So I'm just kind of giving it one number to cover all of them. Um, some of the frying pans, I mean, most frying pan toys, you'll notice, only are just molded in one color plastic. A lot of theirs are molded in one color and then they have painted handles. So you got to give them some credit for that. It's a, you know, pretty cool feature. 14 goes to the Monster High Kitchen 2-Pack that features Dracula and his daughter, Draculaura. And uh, pretty, pretty fun. Uh, again, a two-colored uh, frying pan there with purple and green. Thought that was kind of unexpected. Really, one of the coolest toy lines, in my opinion, that I don't collect is Monster High. I just, you know, I've ended up with a couple over the years, and they're just the coolest things. Moving on, number 13. Jessica Rabbit from Who Framed Roger Rabbit by Super 7. Now, um, this one's kind of an oddity, too. Roger Rabbit does get hit with a frying pan, but uh, if you watch the movie, he just gets hit on the top of the head. So it's kind of a, interesting that they decided to feature his face kind of poking through the frying pan like that um, when that's not really how it happens. And I was wondering if maybe they based this Super 7 figure on an old PVC figure where his face really stuck through a frying pan, um, which again, I don't know where they got the notion for that figure either, little figurine. 12, Colette from Ratatouille. You know, I first saw this picture in the package. I couldn't tell if she had just some pots, which don't count, or if she actually had a frying pan. But you look closely enough, she does come with a frying pan in, in addition to the pot that's a little bit more visible through the package. So that's an essential figure. Great movie. Next up, my favorite movie. I'm not even sure. Maybe my favorite movie, including Star Wars. Indiana Jones and the Raiders of the Lost Ark. Or Raiders of the Lost Ark, if you know, you're a fan right from when it first was released. And that is Marion Ravenwood. Of course, she's got her awesome moment where she hits the guy in the head. Okay, we don't really see it happens, but we happen, but we imagine that's what's going on there. They do make the conk sound. Alright. Number ten. Rapunzel. You can't have a frying pan list without Rapunzel from Tangled. Um she uses a number of different times to defend herself and her friends. And I think this this version of Rapunzel right here, it's I think it, it's probably like a 12 inch tall, probably the best uh, the best version of Rapunzel. Number nine and eight, eight and nine, are Trinity and Bambino from the the Trinity series of spaghetti westerns. Each of them it looks like comes with a frying pan, tons of accessories, lots of different hands to choose from, but then of course essential frying pan. They gotta eat, right? Number number seven, really classic old one here. Jane West from the Johnny West Cowboy Toy series. With all her accessories, of course, there is a frying pan as well. Really essential figure there. Then, thankfully, I found a G.I. Joe guy that came with a frying pan, and that is Tunnel Rat from the Renegade series. He comes with tons of different stuff. Pretty much everything but the kitchen sink so of course there'd be a frying pan included there number five holiday gomez by mezco now i like this figure a lot just because it's kind of cool to see an action figure toy line that was just invented by a toy company i mean as far as i can tell gomez is just a mezco thing not not based on a comic or a cartoon or a tv show or a movie just its own thing and if you get the Holiday Gomez, I don't know if it's a special add-on or what, but there's a version that comes with an apron and a frying pan. Number four comes from this guy from the PUBG video game series, or Player Unknown's Battlegrounds. And uh, it looks like he comes with a lot of articulation, a lot of cool, fun accessories and stuff like that. And of course, if you know the game, frying pans somehow or another became a really important part of this this game. Next up, one of my personal favorites on the list, number three, Sam Wise Gamgee. He's just getting the hang of beating up some Moria orcs, and of course that necessitates that he comes with a frying pan to beat them up with. Now I'm not sure if it's just the first Toy Biz version that comes with a frying pan, or if there are some other ones, but the first one is the one that stands out in my mind. Here's hoping maybe Diamond Select will make a Sam Wise Gamgee, and, and of course remember to give him a frying pan as well. Number two, can't have a list of figures that come with frying pans without mentioning Barbie. 
over over the years i'm i'm guessing i really don't know at all but i'm guessing there's got to be at least 20 different barbie figures that have come with a frying pan so really if you're looking for a frying pan accessory from a one six toy line your best bet is to go to barbie and i'm going to admit this is a little bit of an afterthought but i think there should be a tie for number two and that is barbie should be tied with lego because in a very similar manner lego has also produced many many figures that come with frying pans in fact there's over 200 Lego sets that have featured frying pans in various colors from red, black, to silver, and gray. No particular Lego figure, just like Barbie, no particular Barbie, but lots and lots of uh, contributions to the whole figures with frying pans. So thank you for that, Lego. Before I get to number one, I have one honorable mention, and that is Smurfette, or Kitchen Smurf, as she might be officially called in this, uh, in the the PVC toy line and Smurfette didn't really make the list because she doesn't move at all it was kind of one essential thing to being a uh, action figure is that you can move it you got some joints to move around um, so that's why she didn't make the cut but uh, I thought I should mention her anyways because this is a fairly famous figure with a frying pan and number one figure with a frying pan this is this is what you guys have all really been waiting for I know is of course the Swedish chef from the Muppets toy line and you can pick whichever Muppets toy line you want I'm uh I love the diamond select ones in fact that's what I collect uh just because the the Palisades ones got so out of control expensive so I, I literally I sold the, the couple of Palisades toys I had so I could buy all the diamond select ones and actually you know be able to afford to have a whole collection but um that Swedish chef the the diamond select one's pretty nice comes with a table and all sorts of goodies and of course that includes a frying pan but i actually i'm partial to the palisade Sw swedish chef because i just kind of like the proportions of the figure better to me i like we never really see the swedish chef below his waist so we don't really know what he looks like i like the idea that he's got these shrimpy dinky legs like like the palisades figure has and i like the i like all the textures and stuff i feel like Palisades, uh, they put a little greater importance on capturing the textures of the figures. And not only that, but the Palisades Swedish Chef figure doesn't just come with a table and a bunch of junk. He comes with the whole kitchen. And uh, so that includes the kitchen sink, fridge, everything like that. Uh, at least three, four frying pans. So he comes with a lot of stuff. Really just amazing figure and place that all around. And that was it. I hope you guys enjoyed this list of figures that feature frying pan accessories. And uh, if you have a wacky accessory that you want me to do a list for next, please let me know in the comments. Like and subscribe, all that fun stuff. Tell your friends about this list because I think they'll enjoy it too. Have a good one. This has been Burke for No Skill Customs. See you later, folks.